Now that we've collected our evidence, let's take a look at it. We return to the home page, go back into the case, view our list of datasets, then open the dataset where we stored our data, collected, browsable. Each row represents a container that holds the data collected from a specific combination of custodian and target. The green check marks indicate that the data is ready to browse. Clicking this button merges the data from all the different containers into a single consolidated view that can be sorted and filtered. That view is called the Evidence Browser. We click this button now. The colored strips along the top of the Evidence Browser display data about the contents of the dataset. Clicking this funnel icon lets us filter by category. We want to see only emails, so let's click it now and select Email. Then we click OK. The list has been filtered to only show emails. The Evidence Browser also lets you select which columns to display for the collected data, such as custodian, target name, etc. We click the Settings button to see the full list of available columns. Notice that there are several predefined column configurations, files, emails, and conversations. Since we filter the display to show only emails, Let's select the set of columns associated with emails. Now the Evidence Browser is only showing columns related to emails. Finally, let's take a look at one of the evidence files we collected. We first search for the item that we're interested in. We select it and then click the Details button. A panel slides out from the right that shows a transcript of the file. We click the Details button again to close the panel. With our evidence now sized and browsable, we have a much better understanding of what we've collected and can now proceed with our eDiscovery efforts.